joy is getting ready to come in the morning and it's a new day over your life and you need to let somebody know because it's a new day I am a new person Go. now when you look at the text the Bible tells us that what God had to say he told them I will send one more plague one more disaster and I'm going to send it on Pharaoh and not just Pharaoh but I'm going to send it on the land and after I send it on him he will let you go and in fact he will not only let you go but he will be anxious for you to leave oh God he's going to want you to move expeditiously actually this is what he's really saying in the text is that he is going to throw you out anybody ready to get on the enemy's nerves y'all ain't hear what I just said you want to get on the enemy's nerves to the enemy to the point that the enemy said listen y'all I can't deal with you no more I have to let you go I have to let your finances go because you keep on giving and I don't understand why you keep on giving. You keep on speaking faith and yet I attack you with cancer. I attack your heart. I attack you with arthritis. But yet when praise go up, you're the first one shouting. Come on somebody. But anybody want to declare tonight that you want to get on the enemy's nerves? See, the devil is really more afraid of you than you realize. See, hell trembles at the thought of you rising up and in the fullness of the power that has been placed in you. That's why the minute that you find out who you really are, the devil starts backing up off of you. When you come into your real self, oh God, when you realize who you are in the spirit, the devil will back up out of your life but when you sit there and think oh woe is me I am a poor little Christian boy but when you realize that you have all heaven that backs you up when you stand before your enemies when you realize that you got the power of God's spirit dwelling on the inside of you you can speak and it shall come to pass this word from the Lord cause Israel to see the light at the end of the tunnel and that the day of time of when all the troubles will be over it was fast approaching there was something on the horizon all the prayers was about to be answered God was about to wipe the tears from their eyes and all the hell that they had been through was about to come to an end the weight of their situations was about to be lifted. Israel was one plague away from knowing that their trouble was not going to last always. God said at midnight he was going to go in the midst of Egypt. Midnight was the time when God was going to turn their situation around. Midnight is the period of time when the time is switching over. And right in the middle of the night, when they least expected it, God started moving. Midnight is the time zone when God is crossing from the night to the dawning of a new day. And it was at midnight while Paul was praying and singing praises that God turned Paul and Paul and Silas situation around. God took a situation that looked like it would always be and and brought it to an end at midnight somebody shout midnight somebody needs to know that God is about to switch the night time of your life and I said it before but he's about to make it day what looks like a dark moment is actually about to be a bright moment it, when, excuse me when it's as darkest that's when God is actually going to peek through 
Uh -huh. And he is looking through and he is searching through your darkness looking for the outlet that he is going to give you. So what do you do while God is still searching through your darkness? You learn how to give God praise. You learn and realize that you are greater than what you're going through. You learn and you realize that today there is a word that has come from a speaking God and God says this is the last time oh, that you are going to go through that. Now, I don't know what your that may be, but if nobody else knows what your that is, you know, you know what you walked up in here, had to battle with on a daily basis. But I need you to lift your hands and say, God, I received the word tonight that the thing that I've been going through tonight is the last night. Well, preacher, you have said so far, it was good to my soul. Josh, help me out here. It's a good message but I need to know for sure that what I'm going through will not last always but if you look back in the text and you look at verse number seven the Bible says this but against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that ye may know how the Lord doeth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel the Bible teaches us that we are the spiritual Israel and the difference between between the Egyptians and Israel is that we are in covenant with God a covenant is a promise and if you go back to Exodus 3 17 you will see that God made a promise to Moses and he made it concerning Israel he said this he says I will bring you up somebody shout up and out of the affliction of Egypt I want you to know that that word is on your life up speaks of position out speaks of location not your neighbor just say neighbor you getting ready to come up and come out oh come, come on somebody not somebody else again tell them God's getting ready to pull you up out of your darkest situation but he ain't gonna lift you up and let you go so that you fall back in the same mess again but he's gonna make a way of escape when temptation is unbearable the Bible says that God will make a way of escape he's bringing you up up out of your worst situations and he's getting ready to change your location he's moving you to a place you ain't never been before he's changing your surroundings he's changing folk that are connected with you because God said this is the last time you're gonna go through that so I got to change the folk that are connected with you because they remind you of what you used to be and what you used to do but God says I'm wiping your memory clean because you're gonna see yourself different you're gonna see your life different everything about you is about to be different not your neighbor say neighbor this is my last time that I'm going through that no more heartache no more disappointment no more struggle no more body aches no more hell no more heartaches love your neighbor say neighbor the last time oh this is the last time but what I love so much God is not saying not only am I going to change your position but the place which you stand, I'm going to change your location. But the thing about it is, when God got ready to bring Israel out, if you study the text, Israel did not come out empty handed. But when they came out of it, everybody came out and they didn't come out empty handed. You might have been through hell and high water, but you're not coming out empty handed. Look at your neighbor said, neighbor, I didn't go through all of this for nothing, but I'm coming out with something. I'm coming out with something great. 
I'm coming out with something big. Let somebody say, neighbor, I'm coming out.